today I received this ginormous package from Monster High, and it has two of their latest collector dolls inside, and I figured it would be a fun little thing to do an unboxing of, so let's get started. And I want to give a huge shout out to the Monster High team for sending me these gorgeous dolls for free to share with all of you. As you can see, the box is split with this side being for the new Midnight Runway Haunt Couture Frankie Stein doll. And then on this side, we have the Cleo Induced Holiday Love Edition 2 pack. I really love how they put two different decals on each side as well to really set the vibe for both of these sets. Now the Cleo Induced set already came and went, but I believe that it's still available on Amazon um, for like a pre-shipping kind of situation. And then Haunt Couture Midnight Runway Frankie is going to come out this Friday, February 10th at 9 a.m. PST, so be sure you're ready for that release. Now let's get the box open. This is so cool. Doing this as a split collection like box was such a good idea. Like I love how vibrant everything is. Starting with Cleo and Deuce, this is the little card that they come with, showing the two dolls. And then on the back, we have all of the info. You can go ahead and pause to read. Then Haunt Couture. Ugh, they look so good. I love this whole, like, masquerade theme. And then again on the back, Midnight Runway. And then here are all of the dolls. So far, we only know Frankie's release date, but the others should be pretty soon. Now it's time to see the dolls. The best part. This paper is cute and all, but it like leaves a lot of debris, <laughs> as you can see on this box. But oh, Frankie. Ooh, very sparkly. Here they are freed from their PR packaging paper and we can get a little closer look at the box. I love all these 3D stitches and safety pins, very Frankie. And up here we have the new Haunt Couture logo with her mask. Back it's the same pattern but in that same material as the mask. And then here's Cleo and Deuce, I'm sure you've seen the set a few times by now. But yeah, my favorite thing about her is these asymmetrical bangs. I mean, absolutely eight. So good. And then here he is in his suit. I love all the accessories too. Since there's so much content already on these two, I think I'm just going to leave them in box because, you know, it's a gorgeous little display with the two snake hearts. And, you know, I love an inbox moment sometimes. So now we can fast track to our latest ghoul, Frankie. Here she is without the top part of the box. As you can see, this is how an in-box collector would display her on the shelf. I love that these versus the Skelector dolls, they have like the removable packaging so that it is possible to display them. Whereas the Skelector ones, I feel you have to cut off those flaps every time. And then this is her little certificate of authenticity. You can pause to read. And then on the back, we have the designer's name and more info. Frankie is definitely my favorite Monster High ghoul. I always just love her look. It's so vibrant and like she's the Barbie of the group, you know? Like she's the OG, she's the main character energy. And I just love that for her. She's also just so stunning. I love the vibrant colors that this new doll has like the blue with her skin with the like green highlights in the hair it's like very very cool Here's Frankie all unboxed. She comes with a different stand this time around. I know that they've used this in the past, but it's just like the grabber there instead of on the back. I guess they didn't want to like mess up the um, jacket and how that lays. Her hair is absolutely insane. Like it is so thick, so luscious. It's saran. 
so yeah we are winning straight out of the box the mask is being held on with like what looks like a rubber band to cut but it's actually like how it is going to stay on the doll so just be careful do not cut that so then this is the mask all removed you might be able to cut this i don't know if you'd want to but yeah cute i kind of ruined her hair when i was taking the mask off but that's okay because now we have an excuse to see what she looks like with her hair down and then redo the ponytail they did such a cool job with the color blocking here like everything is so clean and like well done I think if you boiled this, you could do a cute little, like, updo, not updo, but obviously, <laughs> like, a down moment. There's no, like, designated part line, but I still think you could make something work. You see the vibe. And the hair has been restored to its full ponytail glory. Again, this hair is just life-changing going on to her face I absolutely love this screaming she continues to get the best again in my opinion screenings in existence like how gorgeous is that here's the jumpsuit all by itself as you can see it's sleeveless and then the sheer part obviously is like the legs and it looks like she has a little leotard on Here's the jacket, it's very well constructed, I absolutely love these little skelet safety pins on the bottom. The material is also really cool and I don't think it's going to be one of those that cracks and tears over time because I think it's like designed, you know, to look this way. Here are the shoes, we have lightning on each side and then a heel, a lightning bolt coming out for like the heelless heel. The bracelets are these like connecting ribbons that go behind her with a bunch of buckles and it's a very cool look especially when it's on you just have to pop the hands off there's this little sculpted thing that would be fun to paint on here as well then of course the mask which i can't see myself using because i just don't want to cover up her face it's too pretty <laughs> and then this is the belt as you can see in the lightning bolt details there and then it doesn't go around all the way in the back but I love like the texture on it how you can see the seams and everything it's really cool and here's a comparison with the original slash first haunt couture Frankie as you can see everything on the new one is just a little bit more intense like with the brows the more contrasting colors the darker lips I love the like almost evil vibe <laughs> Or, you know, this is a runway masquerade, so fierce vibe. The color story here is just, like, really cool. You gotta see it in person, because she is stunning. Here's my little Frankie army, as far as the new dolls that we've had re-released so far. This is the Boo Original pre-production real drama. And then we have the Comic-Con Voltages. And of course, the girl we just looked at. So yeah, as far as like new 2020 plus Frankies go, she fits right in. And her skin tone is like slightly more green than these two dolls. These, more, these verge more on the blue side. So it's cool to see her more in line with her Frankenstein heritage. Speaking of Frankie's parents, here's a quick comparison also with the Bride of Frankenstein Skull Lector set. So that's gonna conclude our quick little Monster High PR unboxing slash quick review look at Haunt Couture Frankie Midnight Runway Edition. As I said earlier, she'll be available this Friday, February 10th, 
at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure you check your time zone. And I'm so happy Frankie was the first doll in this new Haunt Couture collection since she started the previous collection as well. It's a nice continuation. And again, a huge thank you to Mattel for sending me these dolls for free. And I'm so excited to be able to share them with you and keep an eye out on my Instagram for their photo shoot. Everything will be coming soon. And please like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. And I'll see you next time.